Bienvenidos a Pilsen. Welcome to Pilsen, one of Chicago's liveliest and most colorful ethnic neighborhoods. Your gateway to Chicago's Mexican pride is only a short L ride from the loop. Hop on the pink line. Western's your stop. You hear yet? Great. Let's go explore all the flavor Pilsen has to offer. Nowadays, Pilsen is a vibrant, well-organized community. It's, it's cleaner, it's safer. It's a place to go in the streets and you can go, you can find um, galleries, studios, cafes. It is a strong community because we keep together. We, we love each other and I think we support each other. We have created a great um, community among ourselves and it's not only Mexican. Once you step off the train, follow the tiny butterflies out the left side doors to one of Pilsen's famous murals, Ice Cream Dream. Created by local artist Héctor Duarte. Que pintar en las paredes, obviamente, tiene que responder a las necesidades que se está viviendo en el barrio, en la comunidad. En 1978 eh, vine a una conferencia de muralismo. Yo estaba estudiando en México y fue así que, que llegué la primera vez y lo que me impactó fue que se estaba pintando en las calles aquí en Pilsen. En México se usó para educar al pueblo para decir después de la revolución decirles ok esto es lo que eh, esto es lo que somos en méxico ahora aquí igual venimos de esto traemos esta cultura y somos esto no somos menos que otros somos iguales porque traemos un, un, una cultura detrás una herencia cultural since the 1950s many latinos have chosen to stay and make pilsen their home Almost 90% of neighborhood residents identify themselves as Latino. Most of them are Mexican. You can see it on the walls and hear it in the air. This is Chicago's mecca of Mexican culture. Navigating Pilsen is a breeze because most of the action happens on 18th Street. Let's head east three blocks and you'll end up at Colibri Studio Gallery. Here's co-owner Montserrat Alcina. Colibri Studio Gallery uh, started 11 years ago with the idea of having the community have a place to show artwork, to do music, to do theater. Stop in during the day to check out some original artwork by Montserrat and her husband, musician and artist, Roberto Ferreira. And if you're in town on the last Saturday night of the month, you're in for a treat. Hey, Fandango is a gathering of uh, musicians that start playing just for fun around a, a, a tap board and then people starting dancing in the tap board and, and you know, the music comes and they can stay for a, as long as they want. Especially in Mexico, I think in, in holidays or in days, special days, they used to gather to enjoy the music enjoy the words, the lyrics of the music. Mostly it's improvisation in the, in the Fandango, no? Continue east on 18th Street, take a ride on 19th, and look for the National Museum of Mexican Art, the largest Mexican art museum in the United States. Here, you can view art from the traditional to the contemporary, from the beautiful to the bizarre. Make sure you stop by the gift shop and take home your very own piece of mini Mexican art. Go back to 18th Street and take a ride on Polina. You'll walk by some amazing murals commissioned by the Resurrection Project, a community development organization in the area. Take a ride on 19th and you'll see Cooper Elementary. Now this is no ordinary school building. It took local artist Francisco Mendoza nine years to complete this mosaic timeline in Mexican history with the help of Cooper Elementary students. Don't forget to bring your camera so you can recreate your own Mexican history timeline at home. If you need a break and a snack, stop into Nuevo Leon Bakery, less than a block down from Polina on 18th Street. Alvaro Obragón, a community organizer who's lived in Pilsen all his life, gives us a tasty tip on a traditional snack. In Spanish, concha means shell, and that's where their name comes from, because if you look at the design on the top, I mean, it looks like a concho. It's just a Mexican bread with some sugar on top. In Mexico and growing up, what we often did was, you know, very traditional, you'd have a glass of milk, you know, with your concha, and it'd be one of the most delicious things to have uh, right before you went to sleep. Need more than a snack? Walk two more blocks east. 
Nuevo Leon Restaurant, the oldest and most famous restaurant in the neighborhood, serves affordable, delicious Mexican food all day. Our waitress recommends the mole chicken enchiladas. Continue three blocks east of Allport, and on the corner you'll see St. Procopius Catholic Parish, built in the Romanesque style. Across the street, check out the intricate terracotta facade of Talia Hall, a Chicago landmark. Both were built in the late 19th century when the community was predominantly Czech. It's how Pilsen got its name. Alex Morales, a Pilsen tour guide, explains. This was the center of the Bohemian community in the United States. After World War II, there were very strict regulations on immigration from Eastern Europe. So we were afraid here in the United States of socialism, communism, the Reds, that's the era that people call the Red Scare, McCarthyism. So the number of people coming from Europe dwindled to the point of a standstill. Now you see the, the emergence of a new immigrant coming to Pilsen. Remember, Pilsen has been historically a port of entry. So these new immigrants coming in are Latinos. Finally, no Pilsen tour is complete without an old-fashioned shoe shine. Walk three and a half blocks east to Barrera Shoe Repair. Here's Alvaro. The only place that I really uh, feel that they do a great job, just like in Mexico, in terms of uh, shining your shoes and also repairing your shoes, is Barrera Shoe Repair. And it's right in the heart of the Pilsen community. And uh, we'll go inside and take a quick look. Missy! The owner, Isparo, actually participates in professional shoe shine competitions. There's no doubt that he'll leave your shoes looking good enough for a night on the town. We've come to the end of our tour. To get back on the L, walk west to the 18th Street stop near Paulina. This is only a sampling of the sights and sounds Pilsen has to offer. Check out pilsenportal.org to help you plan your trip. And thank you for watching.